So when you think of hiking, you don't think of New York City, but we are about to change that all together because earlier this week, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez posted on her Instagram stories about how hiking has helped her. And now you can enjoy all the benefits too in these trails. Really, they're just a train stop away. Joining us this morning is Sarah Charlotte Power. She is the executive director of the Natural Areas Conservancy. Sarah, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, it looks beautiful out there today. It's yeah. really the perfect day, 70 degrees to get out and take a hike. You know, generally when people think about hiking, they think maybe the Hudson Valley, the Catskills, maybe somewhere upstate, right. Bear Mountain even in New Jersey. But really, there are lots of trails right here in New York City. So how many trails are there in the city? Yeah, there sure are. There's over 300 miles of trails spread across more than 50 city parks. And we're really excited today to release a new strategic plan that really lays out a vision for caring for those trails and to get the word out to New Yorkers about the, all of these incredible places and encourage folks to get outdoors and take a hike. Yeah, because I think some folks don't realize how many trails there really are. So give us an indication, are these trails for beginners? Mm -hmm. How long are these trails? What can people expect? Sure, that's one of the coolest things I think about trails in New York City. There's everything from short half mile hikes that you can do with a young child to really long all day adventures in places like the Greenbelt in Staten Island. There's really something for everybody with lots of different levels of access, things that are uh, accessible. Um, where I am standing right now, Alley Pond Park in Queens has incredible wetlands. Conference House Park in Staten Island shows you these beautiful beachy views. Inwood Hill Park in northern Manhattan has incredible Lenape Caves and Bald Eagles. Marine Park in South Brooklyn is part of Jamaica Bay, incredible maritime forests. There's really something special in every borough and um, adventures at all levels of difficulty that really appeal to families and individuals all across the five boroughs. Yeah, we're looking at those pictures right they now. Great, you you yeah. kind of already gave us a taste of some of those, but can you break down those five trails you recommended and tell us what makes each of them unique? I'm assuming they're all family and pet friendly. Yeah, they sure are. So I'd be happy to give a little teaser of some of my favorite places okay. and places where our team has worked. Um, in the Bronx, I would encourage people to check out Pelham Bay Park, specifically Hunter Island, which you can access from the Orchard Beach parking lot. Has these really cool rocky outcroppings, looks a lot like New England. Um, stunning views looking out to the Long Island Sound. In Inwood Hill Park, we have some of the oldest trees in the entire city right off the A train in northern Manhattan. You can see these soaring oak and tulip forests, really cool old caves, lots of incredible birds, owls, eagles. If you go all the way to the other end of the city, down to Staten Island, to Conference House Park, it's this incredible um, historic site and house. And then behind that is this beautiful forest that you can check out. It's got beaches and you look all the way out into the open ocean um, really stunning, stunning views. And then where I'm standing right now is Alley Pond Park in Central Queens. This park is incredibly diverse in terms of its offerings. It has an adventure course and playgrounds. And then behind it is this really incredible forest that includes historic ponds, which are only found in Central Queens. Um, they're left mm -hmm. by the last glacier and they're really fascinating to explore, especially with kids. So many gems there. So we're looking at uh, photos, at least we were, of part of the parks teams kind of roping off some of these trails and get it ready for hikers there. So talk to us how you're, you're teaming up with them to make sure that folks can clearly see where they can go for these hikes. Sure. So the Natural Areas Conservancy, which is the organization that I work for, has teamed up with the Parks Department for the last several years to work on both improving access to trails and getting the word out about trails. There's lots of information about where to hike on our website, naturalareasnyc.org forward slash trails, and you can learn more about to go and the kinds of that we're doing include improving drainage, creating stairs, putting up signs, um, clearing brush, really making these places the kinds of visually appealing but also easy to access 
trails that you would expect in any great state or national park anywhere in the country, mm. but of course located right here in the five boroughs. Yep, right here for our access. Thank you so much, Sarah. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. And for finding the perfect nook for us. Yeah. <laughs>